in the future i'll probably play some music here <laughs> <laughs> all right you're gonna roll the intro hey right hey everybody hey everybody hey everybody can with integrity can with integrity can with integrity can with integrity medical courier training we are providing on-site training in roseville minnesota a man's digits turn blue due to too much cannabis use stole the hearse and dumped the body on the side of the oh. road still strapped to the gurney and then continue on with their joy so stay compliant my friends no. get all your medical courier training needs from us at www.integritydelivers.com right. hey welcome welcome you guys so we're What's trying something now? new yeah we are trying something new here we're trying a new app we're trying a uh, restream uh, and we're trying it from different locations so you guys this is great but welcome to the medical courier connection podcast I'm Ken with Integrity Medical Courier Training. I'm Justin. <laughs> and I'm Chris. What's going on? Um, uh, we got a few announcements before we get started on today's topic. Uh, we're heading to New York in five days uh, to be training uh, RDS delivery. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, actually. I, you mm -hmm. know, what we should have done was we should have rolled the intro with the song New York, New York with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> That would have been really cool. Yeah. Um, I might break out into singing that when, I, when we meet up with Larry, and he might punch me in the face, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, we've been working with RDS for well over a decade, and um, it, really an honor because RDS is doing some great things in New York City. Um, wow, during the pandemic, they went above and beyond the call of duty, but for decades now, they've been providing great service in the New York City area as well as stand, uh, as well as, um, way beyond standard uh, medical courier services it's kind of a privilege to to be affiliated with them so that's really cool yeah. we'll be flying out on wednesday of this next week uh, by the way if you're watching on facebook you guys are seeing us live we're trying something different here uh we will be sharing this video on other um other other um apps that mm. we're on but guys on the medical uh, medical couriers group on facebook this morning we hit a milestone 150 fall 150,000 followers uh, yeah. on facebook you guys that that's amazing really really exciting about that isn't that something else so that's really cool and so um there's a lot going on on that group page a lot of people coming in with some great uh, help we're providing a lot of services there uh training and and um direction for people that want to know how to get started in the, in the medical courier industry and that dovetails into what's going on this coming saturday we're hosting a live webinar on saturday at 11 a.m eastern time it's a little different. So you're going to get that specimen handling and transportation course from me, but then Linda's going to come on and talk about next steps. So if you're, if you're just getting into the medical courier industry and you want to know how to build a strong foundation for your business and what to do next, Linda, who's got decades of experience in administration and running and creating businesses, especially in the courier industry, you guys need to sign up for that. Uh, you'll find the registration link on our Facebook medical couriers page so you guys can register for that and then the app will automatically send you the go to meeting it's at 11 a.m eastern time so you guys sign up for that we'd love to see you there mm -hmm. so we just hosted another job fair you guys uh, yeah. medical courier virtual job fair and these are really popular because couriers they're all clamoring to get work and they're trying to find out, you know, who should we contact? We're bringing the courier services to you guys. And uh, all you got to do is, is sign up and show up. We had 94 people that registered for this last medical courier job fair. It was a double header. We brought in a alert change their who's changing their name to matrix logistics yeah. and accurate courier services from two different States. But we had 12 people show up. 94 <laughs> people registered and 12 people showed up. Guys and gals, uh, if you're going to register for a job uh, interview, you got to show up to get the job. Just, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> but uh, I've seen that a lot with the live webinar training too. A lot of people signing up and then just forgetting or something. Yeah, uh, we we send out a few reminder emails to keep people on the ball with that. Um, I have noticed certain times if we send something with a link in it, it goes to people's spam. So if you're paying for a live webinar and you're wondering, I haven't got my email yet with the link, where is it? 
check your spam folder before, um, you know, and then give yeah. us a call if that doesn't, if it's not there, but, uh, we've got a lot of people that, you know, end up missing the class. Um, you know, get a lot of frantic phone calls 20 minutes in also, you know, um, of people who, who miscalculated the time change. And we try to do that in the email based on your location also, but at the end of the day, you know, you kind of got to, that's, that's also partially on you to make sure that uh, you're in the class on time. Cause we're going to have to reschedule you if you're not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think podcast uh, webinars, People don't really always understand what a webinar is. You know, we get a lot of people that will try and sign in when they're driving down the highway and just listen in and they want to get their certificate, but they're missing all the content that's on the screen. Yeah. And so we don't want people driving, staring at their phone either. So yeah. a lot of protocol that people kind of struggle with, I think. Um, live webinars can be can be tricky, and but, but it's a real big part of what we do, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we've got, you know what, we'll schedule another job fair in October. Um, yeah. Accurate actually wants to do another one. Now, Accurate, we talked about the fact that they were uh, available in several cities in Ohio. What I didn't know is that they're in, um, they're in Indiana, they're in South Carolina, and of course, they emanate or originated from California. They have 600 mm -hmm. drivers in California on any given day. So um, we're going to have them on again, I think, next month, and then we'll do another double header. We'll bring in another company um but we'll do more with accurate definitely in the future so that's pretty so is that job fair going to be for um jobs in multiple states then or again just in yes multiple yeah, states multiple. Okay. multiple states cool yeah. and so that that was you know part of my uh oversight but yeah we're gonna really go back uh and cover those different states but we'll try and bring in other companies maybe somebody from florida uh, we really need to mix it up and start covering more of the country but that's something that we need to now, it takes time and, and we'll get there. Um, we're also looking for uh, vendors and sponsors of the Medical Courier Connection podcast. Mm -hmm. We do podcasts to help couriers learn more about their industry and about their job. And we goof around and talk about, you know, maybe subjects and things like that. But, but, um, we need, we're looking for more sponsors that offer services like app, app companies that do dispatch apps or mm -hmm. school kits or cooler companies. So we're looking for more and more vendors that can offer um, goods and services to the courier industry so that couriers can be out there uh, doing their job fully trained and equipped. I will say that Integrity Medical Courier Training is now selling spill kits. Oh, yeah. So that's exciting. We're going to be offering spill kits and eventually we're going to offer coolers. So we'll be your one-stop shop mm -hmm. for supplies that you need to be a medical courier. Why would you need to go anywhere else? Right? Right. <laughs> uh, we've got a new website coming up that we're, that's launching on Monday or Tuesday at the latest. We have a new website coming up, Integrity yeah. Medical Courier Training. Uh, we got a good look at it today. Uh, we made some tweaks here and there. It's it's pretty exciting. We are definitely excited about the new website and just how it looks and how it works, but it's going to make it easier for people to find our website and then pick the program they want to choose and, and, and participate in. Yeah. Should we give them a preview? <laughs> yeah. Put it up there. Let me grab it. Should also shout out the company who's doing the website for us. Give them a little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd love to. What's their name? Uh, Michelle and Andre, right? Yep. Right. But what's the, let's get what's the company the name. name? The comp I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, work I there, man. Yeah. How about this? How about Design Vibe? Design Vibe. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Design Vibe. Yeah. <laughs> this oh man, yeah. Looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love it. Um, but we'll do a more in-depth run through um, once it's live. Yep. We'll, we'll go scroll down to the product everything. page, Chris, if you can. Scroll down yep. to the product well, page. Well, actually, you, where... you, you just click on the top there. View, oh, course. yeah, yeah. View courses. To the right. View courses. Oh, that's right. Yep. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> it'll, fun with it'll, this. Take them, it'll take them literally to it. So it's going to make it so much easier. You know, less surfing, less going through the weeds to find the, the courses that you want to purchase. So that's yeah. pretty cool. I love it. I think really they're exciting. working right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, did the button not work? No, it worked, but I think it. Uh, they're probably editing something right now. Oh, like yeah. This. yeah. Yeah. Yep. We okay. asked them to, to edit that page for view courses. So that's probably yeah. what they're doing. Yep. Yeah, that will bring you to our products page um, mm -hmm. for independent contractors looking to get, you know, certified 
um, to yeah. work for existing courier services and things like that. So and there's also a QR code at the top of the stream. Yep. <laughs> oh, That'll very take nice. you to our existing yeah. website, yeah. right? Or will that yeah. take them to the products page, the QR code? Um, actually, yeah, that'll take them to our existing website. Cool. So, Chris, before we get into the topic of the day, why don't you talk about some of the different streams that we're on um, oh, social yeah. media and help direct people there? Yeah, so um, we are on TikTok at um, Medical Courier Training. I, really, I wanted to put all these links in the description. Uh, we kind of rushed into it. <laughs> uh, we're we on, work on that. Yeah. We're on YouTube at a uh, medical courier connection. Um, we're on Instagram at medical courier training. Um, okay. And our Facebook page, medical couriers, obviously uh, we reached 150,000 today. Yep. yep. Um, so we, we also have integrity medical well. courier training on Facebook or did you already mention that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. We okay. also have that. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to be cross promoting a lot of these social media pages to get people to, you know, hey, look, if you're at the if you're on the medical careers page, which you guys are watching right now, uh, mm -hmm. you know, check out our YouTube page, check, you know, follow us there, um, you know, subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, and, you know, we got a lot of great content on TikTok as well, providing they don't kill TikTok anytime soon. <laughs> um, so, you, you know, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to find us out there and, you know, get some great information on what it takes to be a medical courier. And so, yeah. Yep. So we can on pivot now. Note, yeah. Well, on that note, yeah, we're going to discuss the differences between, um, you know, an employee versus an independent contractor because there is a bunch of confusion with that going on. Um, so, you know, we can kind of get into that. I think, um, you know, we can give our opinion and, and what we know based on our area. But as always, you know, there are exceptions like uh, California has some pretty strict laws. I think we've talked about that in podcasts mm -hmm. before. Yep. Um, about if you are, you know, treating a independent contractor like an employee or vice versa, California will, will throw the book at you. So, um, yeah. you know, you can call and ask us and we will give you, um, you know, the best information that we have, but always do your own research for your specific area. Um, you know, you want to be, you want to be sure of what you're doing and, and, uh, make sure that there's not exceptions like that for your area. So yeah. that's, well, yeah. and that's one of the things that Lynn is going to talk about tomorrow in our um, in our next steps bundle, you know, choosing the business model that's best for you, because uh, if you're in a state like California, you might you might, you know, save yourself a lot of time and trouble and just start off with the with the employee model, because to avoid misclassification, you know, the Department of Labor, and I hate to say it this way, but um, misclassification lawsuits are a revenue stream. If they see a courier company with 500 drivers um, and they're all independent contractors, the opportunity, I mean, the, the opportunity for income, if you if you go after them and find them, uh, it's it's it could be hundreds of thousands of dollars or more. Yeah. And so it really is a revenue stream and that misclassification issue. And by the way, there are companies like Open Force that will handle that for you. You know, SCI, uh, they're also affiliated, affiliated with us. They'll help you navigate those, um, you know, independent contractor versus employee battles because they've been doing it for decades. So there are third party companies that will help manage your drivers and help give you that legal separation that you need. I think what we're gonna talk about today is the benefits to the drivers. You know, How do I decide as a medical courier, if I wanna be a, an employee of a company, or if I want to do this on my own and be an independent contractor, what are the pros? What are the cons? Chris, you had an article or a, a little bit of a paragraph that you wanted to read. Yeah. Yeah. Cause um, I was looking it up on ZipRecruiter. The top search cities for medical courier work are New York, Houston, Dallas, Cleveland, Chicago, Orlando, Phoenix, Savannah, Georgia, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. So it seems like a lot of people in big cities want to be medical couriers. So how could living in a bigger city affect their job search as a medical courier, if at all? Okay, that's a great question. And by yeah. the way, it kind of dovetails to the question of um, we get people. Okay, so in the medical courier group right now on the medical courier page, people are coming in and they're like, how do we get started as a courier in New York? How do we get started as a courier in Miami? How do we get started as a courier in Dallas, Seattle? And the answer is almost always the same. There are certain steps that you need to take, but 
you have to know that if you're in Amory, Wisconsin, uh, with 2,126 um, uh, you know, people that live there, it's going to be harder to get a medical courier job than if you live in New York City or yeah. Dallas or you know, Los Angeles or Miami. There's more opportunity. Obviously, the more uh, medical facilities that are in your city or in your area, the more opportunity there is to find that kind of work. And so that absolutely needs to be factored in. So the advantage of living in a big city to be a medical courier is that there's more opportunities. Yeah. And, and you can find those opportunities on Craigslist, uh, Indeed.com. Um, what, are, what were some of the apps that you were talking about, uh, Chris? So there was ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter. Yeah. And so, you know, I mean, you're going to have to do your research. You're going to have to do some of the legwork. Some people come into the, our, our Facebook page and they want everything done for them. And that's not right. how this works. If you're going to be independent, then you have to do a lot of the work yourself. If you want to be an employee, it's a job search. And that's the internet is so great for that. And there's so many companies out there um, that'll post their jobs on you know, Facebook or I'm sorry, Craigslist, um, ZipRecruiter, Indeed.com. Yeah. And then you go on there and you do a search in your city. And then if you see a job that, that comes available, you literally click on it and can apply online. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, you had to hop in your car and, and drive around. Maybe you could look on the yellow pages. And if you saw a com company, you'd go knock on their door and you'd see if they're hiring and they would say, no, we're not hiring. Have a nice day. Well, yeah. the cool thing is now everyone has uh, yellow pages right here in their pocket. So, you know, right? if you're yeah. an independent contractor looking for, you know, you want to find a courier yeah. company, literally go on to whatever search engine you use, type in medical courier companies in my area and then start reaching out to them once you have your certificates and, you know, put in an application, attach your certificates with your resume. Um, yeah. But I mean, dude, if I had the access, this kind of access back when I was an independent oh, yeah. contractor, man, it would have been so much easier. Um, you know, the, no, no. you can, you can, you, you can YouTube or Google or whatever, anything now and learn how to do it, you know. And you've got infinite resources at your fingertips in your pocket all day long. So it's a good time to be alive in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I find it surprising that so many people don't have a clue, you know, how to get started or what to do. And it makes it easier for us because we can offer them our help. But yeah. a lot of people have no idea how to find work, where to find work, how to do a search, you know, whether they want to be an employee. If you're an employee, uh, I was just talking earlier, you know, I was an employee at a laboratory in Minneapolis. When I retired in the year 2000, I had eight weeks paid vacation. What was I thinking? You know, <laughs> not, now I'm an entrepreneur. I can guarantee you that I don't get eight weeks of paid vacation. No. Yeah. You know, so those are benefits, you know, they'll, you, you can get, when you work as an employee, you get cheaper healthcare. You could, you know, those are great benefits. You get cheaper dental insurance. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of benefits to being an employee. They take out your taxes out of your check for you. So mm -hmm. at the end of the year, you're not scrambling to try and figure out, oh my God, how am I going to pay this large tax bill? As an independent contractor, you're responsible for your own health care, your own dental care, your own life insurance, your own vehicle, uh, up vehicle yeah. your own insurance, you know, car insurance, upkeep, maintenance, you know, tires, brakes, uh, rotations, oil changes. Now you can write you can a lot of that nightmares all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. I yeah, mean, no. we we didn't. I didn't personally have uh, the thing that I never did that looking back, if I could do it again, if I was an independent contractor again, uh, I never really sat down and wrote out a budget that included vehicle maintenance. And I just kind of let my cars, I mean, I did oil changes. I changed radiators and things like that. Um, you know, I did most of it, uh, me and you, but um, going, you know, looking back, if I could do it again, I would absolutely set aside room in my budget for car ma vehicle maintenance and just bring it to a shop and have them do the things that need to be done. And then I have that peace of mind that my car is not going to break down when it's 102 degrees out and I've got a bunch of samples in my back seat. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, there was times where I was on the side as an independent contractor. I remember one day I got stranded on the side of 225 in Denver 
it was blistering hot out and I had an old, uh, I think it was my Ford Escort, I believe, got vapor locked. Cars don't seem to do that as much anymore. But uh, back in the day, you know, it gets so hot out, you'd have to literally pull over. I was on the side of the highway with a bunch of specimens and I had to open my gas tank and you, you open it and it hisses like a snake, you know, and you got to let all the pressure out and let it, let the car mellow out before you can drive again. But, um, you know, things like that. Yeah. Uh, having a reliable vehicle and being up to date on the maintenance so that you don't ever have to worry about something like that happening. And, you know, all wheel drive or snow tires, if you're in a place that's going to get pummeled with snow, be thinking about that because we're, we're coming up, you know, winter will be here soon. Yeah. And uh, so if you're driving around with some bald tires or some summer tires or whatever, uh, you know, start thinking about getting some snow tires put on there and you know, making sure everything's good before you're going out in the winter wonderland. I got to do that soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, tired soon. listen, guys, it is so important. So we had a courier company, uh, a former client of mine, but um, they had a situation where one of their drivers didn't plan for gasoline and he was delivering um skin grafts across the desert now skin graft oh for God. a burn for a burn victim they're going to take a skin sample from your body they're going to put it in the lab they're going to grow it and then um and then at some point you go through the procedures of you know grafting it into your skin so that it can heal that burn well this driver drove uh, out into the desert heading to another city and he ran out of gas in the middle of the desert oh. and because they didn't have another courier to go rescue him the skin grafts that he was transporting uh were ruined wow okay it's unacceptable wow. from a personal physical level but from a financial level also i mean it's just unacceptable think of the pain and suffering that that person first of all went through the burn victim now they've got to go through that whole process again yeah, yeah. Crazy. I recently went through some pain and suffering. Uh, I opened my truck door and noticed that some new fishing lures I had bought melted to the floor of my truck. What? So that was about eighteen dollars down the drain, and uh, wow. I got it all over my hands. So I don't. That can't be good. Plastisol or whatever they use to make it. So after we're wow. done with this, wow. I get to go clean that mess up. I didn't so know that equals, was the thing. Equals get yeah. hot. Yeah. So I don't know. They they're trying to make you know, stuff softer and softer. So it looks more realistic to the fish and, uh, it just totally melted. So if that can melt, think of, you know, think of forgetting a specimen in your car, you know? Oh yeah. And then you find it the next day it's toast. Yeah. I mean, specimen integrity is a big thing. We train on that all the time and people ask me all the time, can I leave specimens in my trunk when I drive across death Valley or wherever? And of course our obvious answer is going to be no. So you're driving anywhere. You don't want to do that. You yeah, can't control yeah. the climb into your trunk. Right. Yep. I mean, I agree. And so my answer is no. Um, we've had, I, I had to fire a guy years ago here in Colorado Springs because he were, the clients were complaining that his specimens were coming in hot. And he refused to put the cooler in the cab of his car, and I fired him on the spot and finished his route. So, wow, wow. So there you go. So again, back to the employee independent contractor model. One of the other things that we need to talk about is liability. So a lot of people are starting their own LLC. I'm kind of a fan of that, but Linda, if she was on the call, she'd be telling us, and tomorrow we'll address this in yeah. tomorrow's live class. Don't forget, we're doing a live um, medical career uh, training class, but we're also doing the next steps class on the end of that. Sign yeah. up for that, you guys. But um, A lot of people call it, and ask for that, for the, right. what to do next. So that'll what, be really What to do good. next. Here's your opportunity. So... so <laughs> The issue is if you are an, um, if you're not an independent, if you're not a um, LLC, by by default, you are um, you are a sole proprietor by default. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are liable for anything that happens. If you're a courier and you're driving all the time, look, guys, accidents happen all the time. That's why they call them accidents. They're not on purposes. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Good. Thank you for posting that. Um, 
But if you are, if you have a limited liability corporation and you're in an accident, uh, they're going to go after the assets of the LLC. They're not going to take your home and your boat and all of that kind of stuff. So you yeah. got to be aware of that. You got to do this right, you guys. Um, I think an LLC is a great idea, but is not legally re absolutely required. I just think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people call and ask what insurance they should get. And, um, you know, that's going to depend on what your client wants and what you're transporting and so many different things. Um, you know, we are, we're a certification company at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, we also try to be a resource for information to a certain extent. But like I said before, you know, um, you really got to do your homework on this stuff. If you are, taking on the responsibility of starting a company. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you really need to make sure that you have the proper insurance and things like that. Um, because that's gonna, that's gonna be a big deal. Um, but, uh, another thing that Chris wrote down that we should address, um, yeah. is, this is probably one of the most frequent phone calls. I questions I get, uh, is people asking how, how much money can they make? Or is this, a, is this a lucrative industry? Yeah. And the, the answer is, I don't know. Um, and you know, our policy here at integrity is to not give you any kind of number that you can make because it's going to vary from city to city all yeah. across the United States. There's no way for us to know. There's no blanket. Um, there's no blanket, uh, price that, you know, I can just be like, oh yeah, they're going to pay you this much per delivery. And then you find out it's more or less, you know, more would be a good thing, obviously, but less, yeah. whatever. And then you're mad at us because you, sure. you know, put all this money and time into starting a company and now you're going to make less. Um, and it's really going to be, it's going to be different from city to city and there's no way to possibly know. So um, you, you know, we have some resources. Um, the flyer we just had up obviously is one of them where um, it's going to be similar to our class called starting your own courier business. That's narrated by Linda, the co-owner. And mm. uh, she, she lays out the math for you to do to calculate all of your various expenses that you might not be thinking about if you, especially if you've never done this before. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot of like going back to what I was saying about budgeting um, as you know, it, it can be for an independent contractor. It can be for someone who's starting a courier business um, you really need to consider all that beforehand. Um, and she goes over that and she'll go over that in the live, um, you know, but she also goes over that in that course, starting your own courier business on our website. And, uh, it's really great information. If, if you're just kind of starting off and completely lost, you know, we try to well, offer some info for you guys to a certain extent. And, um, yeah, there's an old saying that if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And yeah. so I, I tell couriers a lot of the times, count the cost, count the cost. I mean, I don't tell someone don't be a courier company, but count the costs. Yeah. Um, there are hidden costs. I remember when we started our first company, AlphaStat, and I was dealing with a car repair issue and there was three of us driving and I was one third of the driving force at that time. And my car broke down and I was out for pretty much two thirds of the day. That means I'm not making money. I'm not available to help deal with stats and yeah. after i after they got me out of the repair station i drove for 10 minutes the car broke down again yeah. and so having a reliable car man that that is really really important having a backup car is really important you have to think about this um because people just want to hop on the car get out there and do these deliveries. Um, I, we have people on the Facebook group. By the way, we are live right now on the Facebook group. I've dropped in a couple of times. looks great. But people will say, all you need is a cell phone and a car and hop in the car and off you go. But there's a lot more to it, right? So, um, you know, again. Yeah, this is, this is healthcare. People tend to forget that. You know, I think there's um, a little bit of um, not everybody for sure, but there is, you know, certain people are kind of thinking of this as a side gig. A lot of people call and say they want to do this on the side, yeah. um, while they're running another company. And personally, I tell them I would absolutely not do that. Um, you know, if you're going to run a medical career service, people's lives are literally in your hands. You're in the healthcare industry. Um, this is probably going to require your full time and attention. So yeah. maybe not the best side gig Unless, you know, if you want, there is a side gig aspect to it, drop off, you know, dropoff.com. We work with them. Uh, we love those guys. 
Um, they are, would you say similar to DoorDash and Uber, but in a, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So you can do that and litter and log off. But if you're running your own courier service, you, you're the captain, man. And it's going to take all your time and attention. Uh, I would not try to approach it as a side gig if, you know, and running it with another company, um, because it is healthcare, it is patient care and you gotta, you gotta, be on your P's and Q's, man. Yeah. Yeah. I is, mean, uh, people... go ahead, Chris. Is your phone touching your computer at all, Justin? It's near it. Is it buzzing? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, weird. So, so <laughs> you get people that ask about evenings and weekends. And so, evenings and weekends, I mean, in that aspect, it can be a side gig. But, yeah. You know, my concern as as we first started, by the way, you know, drop off uses us for their training and we talked with them early on. Um, and my biggest concern was making sure and we've talked with other app based company. My biggest concern was making sure you had a manager in every major city that you operate in in case a driver has a specimen on board and their vehicle breaks down and they're not just sitting there for five or six hours. Make sure that they've got proper backup. Yeah. You know? And um, as far as I know, I mean, drop offs doing a great job uh, as far as that as that goes. And so they're expanding all over the country. Yeah. Uh, hopefully at some point we'll have them on our virtual job fair as well. We're we're work, we're looking into that. That'd be a great idea. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So again, so we're coming back to the issues of if you're an employee, your employer is going to maintain your car that you drive, you'll drive a company car in most cases. Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll do the rotations, the oil changes and all of that. If it breaks down, they'll pay for it. Uh, but then again, your, your cost is locked. Your, your hourly wage is locked. You're working for an hour. And by the way, for retirees, retirees love to be employee medical couriers because they have already got an income with yeah. their retirement. And so working as an employee uh, courier evenings and weekends or part time is great for, for retirees. It's perfect. But if you are a younger person looking for full time employment, you really got to think about this um, long and hard. If I'm an employee, I know what my hourly wages be will be. A lot of times, you know, LabCorp provides you with a car. Not only do you drive it all day long, but you can uh, you pay a monthly fee to LabCorp and you can drive it on the evenings and weekends and even take it on vacation. Yeah. I wonder Which if is a crazy, uh, crazy benefit. Still, is that still their model? I believe it is. Yes. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is they'll, they provide you with a work phone. They provide you with uh, coolers. They provide you with a scanner. You know, they provide all these things. And in some cases, if you're an in- independent contractor working for a major lab, they may loan you one during the time you're working. I'm not sure about that. It's going to be different with everybody, but um, yeah. you know, Oh, when we worked for American Courier Service years ago, was it American? Um, one of those large companies. We were remember when we had to uh, we we leased a three quarter ton van. Yeah. We had to lease the uniforms. We had to lease the scanners. Yeah. And uh, that route was a butt kicking, man. I mean, it was something it was. else. But it was brutal. Um, <laughs> but we were still independent contractors. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think I, are- you know, I've done both. Uh, I was an independent contractor and I worked for a major lab for about five years. And uh, for me personally, I, I appreciated the freedom of being an independent contractor more. Um, you're a little mm-hmm. less micromanaged, um, but all of the responsibilities are on you. So it depends on how valuable your freedom is to you or are you more focused on wanting a 401k and paid time off. Cause those things are really nice too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, you know, a lot of people that are getting into the industry, um, even calling to get their company certified, you know, they call unsure. I've had a lot of people lately when I ask them, you know, are you looking for certification, um, for yourself as an independent contractor to work for someone who already has a company or are you trying to start your own career service? And they say both. Well, it's one or the other. It's not, it can't be both. Um, So you, you know, I tell them uh, maybe try working for a company like drop off or try getting hired on as an IC for a while and get familiar with the industry and get familiar with um, all the inner workings of what it takes to be a medical courier every day before you jump right into opening a company. Um, 
unless you, you know, some people have the experience they and they've got the confidence and they are resourceful mm-hmm. and they're doing their dil- due diligence and they're hiring people that um, cut out some of the middle work and, and help, you know, people like stick with us deliveries, um, you know, things, uh, Courier Business Academy, things like that. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of people that we love that we work with that help with that. So we always send them their way to uh, when they're unsure or, or uh, you know, they just, they don't want to do that, that middle work themselves. And that's totally cool too. Um, so there's a lot of resources out there and that's, you know, we're trying to provide those on all the various platforms and everything. So, yeah, so that's what we do. I mean, you know, the medical courier connection, we are, we're, that's a community that gives resources to couriers that are trying to start out. If you guys haven't joined the Medical Courier Connection yet, go to medicalcourierconnection.com. Uh, look us up. Join us there. Join that community. It's $59 a year. And we're going to be giving you more and more resources like webinars on a monthly basis where you can learn from experts in the industry or products and services or archived information. You know, having there's power in numbers. So, you know, join the Medical Courier Connection. You can also find that link on our website integritydelivers.com yeah there'll be an actual link on the new website as well click that qr code over there yeah yeah click that qr code right there and um guys i mean so we're here to be a clearinghouse of information and sometimes we'll have that information right at the tip of our fingers and if not we'll get back to you on it uh we are not Mm -hmm. experts in nuclear medicine transportation but we know somebody who is carl Mm -hmm. bennett we are not Mm -hmm. experts in category a transport um but we know someone who is and she is uh we'll send emails to her and refer people to her all the time and so if we don't have the services or the training or the answers that you need we'll get it for you yeah and so that's what this uh, this platform is all about. Um, follow us here on the um, you know YouTube. I mean you know subscribe to to Medical Career Connection on YouTube, and we'll be doing more and more informational uh, programs. We're looking at starting something called the medical courier minute which will be a couple of minutes long maybe 60 seconds i don't know if we could do it in a minute but we're going to be giving you little tidbits that'll help you uh in your medical courier journey and so you know subscribe to our podcast uh follow us on tiktok you know be a part Drop of the medical comments courier too community. on youtube for con you know what do you guys want to see um what would yeah. you like to get out of the this podcast that we're not already offering Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we'll try to keep the content fresh for you guys and, and bring up new topics and things like that. But, uh, feel free to leave a comment and let us know, if, you know, if there's something you want to hear us talk about, uh, yeah. but you know, make sure you've watched the other episodes too. Cause we have had people comment and say they want to hear something that we've already covered. We don't want to bore people to death with the same stuff over and over again. So we're trying to switch it up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I think this is a great point. Uh, I think we've covered most of the points. Is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about? The difference between being an independent contractor and an employee uh, for a person who wants to do this work? Anything else we haven't covered? Um, no, I think it's I think it's a good idea to dip your toe in with a company like Drop Off, like we said before. Um, get get the experience in the field. Get familiar with the industry. Um, and then you can make a decision because that's kind of a less permanent choice than, you know, going crazy right off the bat and then, and then finding out that, you know, you live in the middle oh, yeah. of nowhere and there's no work around you. And now you got this LLC and you don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Uh, you know, if there's a big city nearby, maybe you, you commute there and you're a medical courier there. Um, or maybe there is a need for you in that small city. You never know, you know, the, the current courier service could be screwing up big time, losing specimens and uh, being rude to their customers. And, and maybe that lab or, or whoever is not happy with them. That, that's an opportunity for you um, to present yourself, you know, as, as a viable option. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you're yeah, not absolutely. Screwed, jump on drop off or uh, try and get on with someone who already has a courier service. Yeah. So they say nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know, right. sitting at home on your couch, you're not going to you're not going to be successful as a courier. How much money can I make? That depends on the region that you live in. 
If you live in a large city, it depends on your resourcefulness, your own get up and go. Are you a self-starter? Are you motivated? Are you professional? Um, do you have a little money saved up? Do you have a decent car? There's a lot of things that you need to think about before you just hop in your car, like Justin said, and then find yourself, you know, I, I, I actually have seen people on the medical, on our medical careers group here that have quit their job and they're like, you know what? I've had enough of the nine to five. I'm going to be a medical courier. What have you got lined up? Well, that's why I'm here. Ooh, you might have eased. You might have wanted to ease into that just a little bit. Yeah. Tomorrow, Saturday the twenty-first at eleven a.m. Eastern time, we're going to go over specimen handling and transport, OSHA and HIPAA certification, and next steps. So, if you want to know more about what it takes to launch your courier company or to have a strong foundation for your courier business, you need you need to be in that class, you guys. It is fifty-nine dollars. You can find the link on our posts here on Facebook. Book, but it's $59 if you want to attend the specimen handling and transport and get your OSHA and HIPAA certificate. And then um, you'll get the next steps class included. If you just want to attend the next steps, great. Register. It's only $25. And then you'll chime in about, you, know, you can drop in about two and a half hours after the class started and you can listen and learn from Linda. Linda has decades of experience in this industry in administrative, in administration and uh, owning and selling medical courier businesses and she managed a three and a half year uh, three and a half million dollar courier courier business up in Denver for many years this woman is bringing the goods you guys and she not only knows about medical courier but she knows medical courier because she's done it for a good chunk of her life so you guys need to be in that class tomorrow um, and so register and attend that class tomorrow how can somebody get registered if they don't have Facebook like me uh, they can reach out to us. Um, they can either call 719-502-7081 and we'll send them the link to register. So that's a great mm -hmm. question. Uh, you know, it's tomorrow morning, so they might want to call ASAP, but right now mm -hmm. the phones are, uh, are parked. Forwarded. Yeah. But How, we will take uh, them off shortly, yeah. When, when does registration close for that? I mean, I would say no later than, I mean, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Because that's an hour before the class starts, 10 a.m. Eastern. Mountain. If you haven't registered, Eastern. no. It, yeah. um, we're starting at 9 a.m. Mountain, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. So if okay. you haven't signed in by by 10 a.m. Eastern, I would say you're going to sit this one out. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. All right. By the way, and, and you know, again, if you go to our website, integritydelivers.com, we do have automated versions of the specimen handling and transport course. We do have an automated version of, of building your own business. We even got a bundle there if you want to combine some of those classes. So spend some time on our website. Look around. If self-paced learning is more your style, we've got you covered. Yep. Yeah. You can get that via that QR code over there again. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. So. Uh, Chris, give us the social media sites where people can follow us and find us. And then let's wrap oh, yeah. it up. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, all this will be in the description. Uh, we are on Facebook as the Medical Courier uh, page, as well as uh, Integrity Medical Courier Training. Uh, we're on Instagram at Medical Courier Training. TikTok at Medical Courier Training. Um, we're everywhere. The, yeah, we're everywhere. <laughs> Uh, we have the audio podcast, basically wherever you get your audio podcast from the Podbean app, uh, iTunes, Spotify, it's, it's everywhere. So excellent. All right. Medical yeah. couriers. Thank you guys for bringing us to 150,000 people on the medical couriers group, um, onward to 200,000 and maybe 250, uh, heck by mm -hmm. the end of the year, we could be at a quarter million followers. So let's see it happen. I'm excited you guys and onward and upward. There's going to be a lot more coming from integrity medical and the medical courier connection. Yep. Have a good weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Be safe out there, everybody. <laughs> see ya. Hey everybody, hey everybody, hey everybody, hey everybody, Ken with Integrity, Ken with Integrity, Ken with Integrity, Ken with Integrity Medical Courier Training. We are providing on-site training in Roseville, Minnesota. A man's digits turn blue due to too much cannabis use. Stole the hearse and dumped the body on the side of the road, still strapped to the gurney, and then continued on with their joyride. So, stay compliant, my friends. Get all your medical courier training needs from us at www.integritydelivers.com.